Hey, welcome back, Jerry here. Today, I'm gonna briefly show you what I learned over the past year working with 3D Gaussian splatting. First, let's clear up some common misconceptions. 3D Gaussian splatting is not a one-size-fits-all solution for every need. It's not ideal for scenarios where accurate relighting and cast shadows are crucial. If you want to relight in a realistic way, better to use photogrammetry and PBR materials. In addition, Gaussian splatting isn't the best for accurate measuring compared to techniques like LiDAR scanning. So what is 3D Gaussian splatting good for? Well, Gaussian splatting excels at preserving lighting and reflections from the capture. It's especially useful for transparent objects. Gaussian splatting is also light and fast, making it ideal for real-time rendering and web-based solutions. Furthermore, if you need to handle collisions, you can generate a mesh for the collision and hide it under the Gaussian splats. This keeps your scenes interactive without compromising on quality. One of the most exciting aspects of Gaussian splatting is its potential when combined with the angle system and effector fields in Unreal Engine. This opens up endless possibilities for animation and visual effects. If you like to integrate Gaussian splatting into your workflow, please join me on Patreon to explore what's possible. Thanks for watching and see you there.